So, so what we're going to do is we're going to take um, the, the skin from these plantain. We're going we're to peel, peel them and we're going to pulp this down. We're going to mash it down using a meat mincer. Then we're going to mix it with, with sawdust in this, in this mixer here. And then we're going to take that pulp and we're going to um, put it into a mould and we're going to compress it. Um, and then we're going to dry them. We're going to put them into this oven here. And then we're going to take them down to the combustion lab. Um, and then we're going to cook some banana fritter sandwiches. Um, in, in Rwanda, they have um, large um, quantities of, of, of banana waste, like a 60 or 70% of their income it is from bananas. Actually, only 10% um, of, of the banana you actually eat. So there's just masses and masses of waste. And another problem in a lot of uh, large parts of the developing world is, is firewood. There's, there's huge areas of, of land that are being deforested um, and, and lands being eroded. Pe people need wood to burn. They can't afford to, the more expensive fuels like LPG or, or gas. Also, another problem is women might spend four or five hours a day collecting firewood, time that could be spent in the home um, and do, doing other things and maybe even generating income. <laughs> This is a really black banana. It's exactly what we want. We want them so they're all nicely mushy. In Rwanda, they have large quantities of banana waste. Um, the, the skins, the stems, the leaves of the banana plants. And those aren't really used for anything else at the moment at all. And they just rot and are left to, to waste. And, and so that's what we want to do. We want to use that waste for something useful. I really like science and technology and engineering that really engages with people, which really has a, a direct benefit to people. And I really love this project because it's doing some research for people who wouldn't actually be able to afford this research normally. I think, but people have caught on to it. People just keep bringing me back to bananas. Like, I, I went to um, a, ca a, ca a cafe, a, a, um, a Globe Cafe thing that runs in Nottingham on Monday and people just turned up with a, a Sainsbury bag of bananas for me and um, there's what the word spreading that we're after bananas so that this, the, we're definitely not in shortage. So we've got a nice amount of pulp here and we're going to um, now mix this with a bit of sawdust in, in the mixer. So we'll take this through to the other room. So what you, what you would normally do is in Rwanda is say for example or in Africa is you put in the stems of the plant you dry them out and you could put those in but we haven't got any here so we're just going to use the sawdust so we're just going to put a small amount in there we're not so that will form a nice briquette you can see it's you can mold it and shape it so we can compress that really nicely and form some really nice Briquettes. The, the, the reason we're using um, an instrument machine to compress um, the, the pulp is so that we can do it in a very controlled way. We can do it to, you know, we can put a very, very controlled amount of force on there uh, and we can do it very, at a, a very, very controlled rate as well. So we can make um, identical briquettes time and time again, um, which is really important if you're trying to scientifically test um, the combustion of, of the briquettes. Here we have um, a banana skin and sawdust briquette. So, so we made our briquettes um, and we're just going to put them into the oven to dry. So the, the oven's just at um, 105 degrees, so it's not going to start cooking them too much. So um, this is a, a rather deformed banana briquette. Um, that we made. These ones will actually be a lot better because um, we've mixed it with sawdust. This was just pure skins 
and it just kind of shrinks and goes So this is our banana briquette which we made earlier. Um, as it's burning here, um, the mass is decreasing, gases have been given off and we're logging that here. This is a thermocouple, we're measuring the temperature of the flame in here. Um, and as, as it's burning, the gases are begin, being given off, picked up by this hood here, um, and they're being measured by this meter here. It's burning really well, yeah, it's burning really well. So enough of the science and engineering. What we're going to do now is show that these briquettes can actually cook something. And what better thing to do than cook up some of those bananas that we uh, peeled this morning. So this is our banana briquette that we made earlier. In goes the banana briquette. So we've got banana fritters. So fried banana sandwiches. And we're going to stick them between two slices of bread. The fact is, is it's what, they do, it's what they do in Ghana. They, they do a meal called Red Red, where they, where they fry this type of banana and they have it with this spicy kind of bean and it's gorgeous. They kind of treat this stuff like a vegetable over there. You hear that sizzling there away. See, it was hot in a few minutes. So within a few minutes, we put our briquettes in the fire and we're cooking banana fritters. How amazing is that? Actually, to be honest, I'm really happy to do this. I've never actually done this before. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's bad, isn't it? I've never actually burned them in real life. Just what we need.